Alrighty, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something I'm actually pretty excited about and have been playing around with for the last few days. And this is the i3 Window Tiling Manager on top of Raspberry Pi OS. And this has actually been a really fun process learning how to use this, how to customize it, how to theme it. It's not that easy. It, you're not you're not going to get this immediately, but if you do try this, you will learn it pretty easily because I've also done it. And it's not the hardest thing to learn, but it really is an amazing and fun thing. And this probably is my one of my favorite ways to use Raspberry Pi OS now. I'm probably going to be using this as my main desktop operating system on my Raspberry Pi from now on because I've just had an amazing experience with this and it has been truly a really fun experience. Experience. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my desktop setup, what customizations I made, and basically what I've done to my desktop here. And then just I'll show you, share my thoughts about the i3 Window Tiling Manager on Raspberry Pi OS. So this still is Raspberry Pi OS, and if you look at my desktop environment right here, it is still LXD. But default LXD on Raspberry Pi OS actually uses the open box window manager. But I've actually switched that out to the i3 because I prefer that. And i3 is a window tiling manager. It automatically tiles windows and makes it really accessible to use with your keyboard rather than using your mouse. So it's a really awesome thing to use on Linux. So, like, let's open up a file manager. So, if we open up our application launcher, which is called D menu, this is the default one. Or I've used Rofi actually. I've switched it out to Rofi. I've had a pretty good experience with Rofi, but there are some things that I would like to see. But you see, my file manager to automatically tiles to the left right here. And I do want to mention I have done a lot of customizations, like deleting the top bar. Um, adding the spaces in between because I think it looks cool and I've actually installed an application called PyCom. So PyCom is a composite compositor and it actually makes um, doing things like transparency, shadow when you do open up different applications, it allows you to do that. So like when I'm not using the terminal, it automatically makes it transparent. I think this thing actually looks really cool. It looks really clean and cool. If I went over to my terminal, it automatically adds this opacity, this transparency to my file manager on the right. So it really just looks amazing. It blows my mind how pretty it actually looks and it's it just makes my desktop experience so much more fun it makes it so much more fun seriously so that is basically what i installed i installed pycom and then i also changed the pycom configuration file so once you install pycom you actually have to make your own configuration file but i actually just found one on the internet and i can show you guys what it is it's not that hard but go into the cd pycom folder and then nanopycom.config so this is the file I actually found this on the internet I can leave a link to it if you do want to download it but it basically just does some basic things like adding this transparency adding the little shadows and stuff and overall it's been a pretty cool configuration file it looks really clean and it feels the same way so let's just exit out of there but that's my configuration file I also like I said I added the spaces in between I changed the wallpaper but I actually haven't done that much to i3 yet because I'm still learning I'm still a really basic user because I just recently got into i3, so I am still need to learn a lot of stuff about i3. But this is basically what I've done so far. And as my different themes, what I've done here, I've, I've actually used the default arc dark theme breeze cursor and stuff like that. So if I were to go over to LX Experience, I mean LX Experience. LX appearance and right here I am using the arc dark theme my color is the same icon theme I want for the papyrus my mouse cursor as the breeze but I've actually like I said I was using the Rofi right here but I actually have mainly been using U launcher so I've mentioned U launcher a ton of my videos and I have actually enjoyed U launcher more than Rofi because it actually gives you the icon like let's say I want Chromium web browser it gives me the little icon right here so it's just a lot easier to use over Rofi and it works the same way and it's as responsive so that's why i've just been using that i honestly i don't know why there's that little bar around it i think it has something to do with compton because there must be some little bug with this little transparent type of bar around it but it doesn't bother me that much so it honestly 
hasn't been that big of a problem. But now to talk about the applications that I have pre-installed in here that I really loved using with i3. So let's close out of right here. And if we open up my application menu, I am going to use D menu for this or Rofi because I can see all of them was scrolling through. So it makes finding my applications a lot easier. So like as default right here, I have Raspberry Pi configuration. File Manager, Chromium Web Browser, Image Viewer, Pi Apps, Zoom. I want to talk about Zoom on here. Zoom has actually got pretty good on the Raspberry Pi when using Box86. This thing is solid, man. I was playing around with it the other day, and I saw how the video isn't that laggy. It actually looks good, and if you have a microphone and a webcam, Zoom is actually usable on the Raspberry Pi while using the full desktop app being emulated with Box86. It's actually really surprising how well it performs. I mean, it is seriously, like, this thing is good. Let's go join a meeting, and I'm going to just show you guys the performance real fast because I need to show this in one of my videos because it's just been amazing. So I'll join that meeting right there. Type in my meeting password which is very de hard, difficult, I, I tell you guys, I mean, definitely. So I'm going to join without a video because right now I actually don't have a webcam available for my Raspberry Pi or I don't also have a don't have a microphone. But overall, I can still tell by the video performance if it's going to perform well or not. But one thing, you have to leave the terminal window open for Zoom to work or it's not going to work correctly. But it still is pretty responsive while considering that this is. So let's go into full screen. And right here, if I just start video up, and here's my arm, look at this, on my Raspberry Pi. I mean, it's moving pretty well. Like, you think the performance would be worse on the Raspberry Pi, but overall, it's still pretty good zoom performance while considering this is a Raspberry Pi and this app is being emulated. It's pretty good. So that's just some of my experience, and I've had a pretty awesome experience because... Zoom is getting good on the Raspberry Pi, to not lie. So let's just exit it out of here, quit the application, leave meeting, and yeah, we can close out of both of these, but that is Zoom. So if we go back to Rofi, um, right here we have Launcher, which I showed, PyKiss. I was able to get Box86 and Wine working really well on here. They respond really well, like I installed 7 zip using Wine, and it tiles pretty well, and it's just an easy application to install with Wine. That's basically why I installed it. Like, here it is. It looks pretty good. And I am doing all this with commands on my keyboard, which I can leave a guide if you want to learn those different key bindings. But it really isn't that hard, but it, it is cool. Like I installed Duke Nukem 3D, which is like a game, wine tricks, screen configuration, text Minecraft Pi, VLC, get started, Puffin Internet Terminal, which I will show in a minute. And I've just installed a lot of applications in here, and I've just had a really awesome experience with i3. It's been incredibly responsive. It literally does everything I need super fast. I can accomplish everything I want so much faster on here over, let's say, the default um, Raspberry Pi OS. So, like, I open up Puffin right here. I also want a terminal open on the left. I can really have my workflow working incredibly well on here without even having to use a mouse. Like in a web browser, you kind of have to use a mouse because you want to open up different tabs and stuff. But I can use my key bindings that switch between windows. It works incredibly smooth. Like I want HTOP right here. And I want to be over here Googling something, watching a YouTube video. Let's go over to YouTube.com. Let's watch Big Bug Bunny right here. And Puffin is probably my preferred browser on Raspberry Pi. I personally don't really enjoy Puffin as a web browser itself. But like I was saying in my last video, this thing has amazing performance. This thing is so quick and it is so responsive. It probably is the best browser for the Raspberry Pi because I don't know what the devs have done to this, but it is so responsive. Look at this YouTube video. It loaded up immediately. This thing is like a god at web browsing on the Raspberry Pi. It is so smooth. Like here's my YouTube video. It loads up super quickly. It's on the left right here. And then let's say instead of a terminal, I wanted a different application, like a game. But I don't have a game in, installed right now. But overall, I mean, this thing is incredibly responsive. It is amazing. Like NeoFetch, I can update my system while watching a YouTube video and it automatically tiles it. So workflow is just incredibly easy while using iFee on the Raspberry Pi and I've just had a really amazing time using it
So let's exit out of here. And the exit key is the super Windows key shift Q and exit out of there. But like I said, I was using Ulauncher over any other application because it just has been a better experience overall. And like Flameshot automatically tiles on the bottom right here. I can take screenshots. It works incredibly well. And then right here on the bottom right here, you can see the i3 status bar shows my IP address, my internet speed, how much system resource I'm using so it's a really nice tool for i3 and I really enjoy having these different desktops like I go Windows key 3 I can go to a different desktop and have different applications open at the same time so yeah this is the i3 window manager on the Raspberry Pi I sure have had an amazing time using it and if you're interested in a guide on how to install this let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to pull one of those out pretty soon because I sure would recommend you guys trying this out. It is amazing. And it may look hard for you to learn immediately, but if you just install it, read a few guides, you will get this immediately. And it is amazing. i3 is really one of my new favorite things on the Raspberry Pi. So I hope this video was cool to you guys. And thanks for watching.